hello everyone welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so this is part 19 of selenium framework development series from scratch and in the previous part we have implemented database testing right now today we'll focus on soft assertions in selenium framework i suppose to talk about api test cases like how we are going to add api test cases in our framework but uh, we left with this topic earlier soft assertion so let's cover this small topic today right so let's have a look at the agenda for today so we are going to talk about what are soft assertions and what is the difference between hard and soft assertions later we'll talk about when to use soft assertions in our framework in our code right and i'll show you the implementation how we can achieve the soft assertion in our script so let's quickly talk about uh, the theoretical stuff so what are soft assertions so soft assertions in test in allow test execution to continue even if an assertion fails so let's say we have let's say we write one test case right and there are multiple checkpoints like verification points assertion points correct so if one fails here then it will continue to the other test other verification this is the base part of soft assertion right unlike hard assertion so hard assertion what happens is like uh, let's say if you have multiple checkpoints and if it fails over here then it will it won't execute the further uh, script right which stop execution immediately when a failure occurs soft assertions collect all the failures and report them at the end of the test we have assert all function method so we need to call that at the end of the script so this is about uh, soft assertion guys and uh, let's talk about the difference between hard and soft assertions so if you talk about the execution behavior so it stops execution on failure which is like hard assertion so till now we are using hard assertion and uh, if you talk about the soft assertion it continues execution even if a failure occurs an exception if you talk about the exception handling throw an assertion error immediately in case if we get any failure it stores failures and reports them at the end of the script right it will collect all the reports and if you talk about the test ng class what is the class so it is we have like assert class and here we have soft assert what what uh what is the use case so critical test steps where failure should stop execution so let's say we write one critical test case and we have written only one checkpoint so in that case we should go for hard assertion and if you talk about non-critical steps where all checks should be performed before failing so let's say we are validating one you know web page and we are validating multiple points on the web page so we can we should go for the soft assertion so that we can see let's say we are very validating uh, 10 checkpoints uh, 10 validations we are performing right so we should know like which one is failed which one is passed like that when to use soft assertions so form validations so let's say we have a form and we have multiple as i have discussed earlier multiple things are there or fields are there to verify check multiple fields before failing ui testing multiple elements verification in one test database or api testing multiple data points verification we can use soft assertion end to end testing as well where minor mismatches shouldn't break execution let's say we are performing end to end end to end testing right where we perform different you know validations so in that case we can go for soft assertion so let me practically uh, show you how we can achieve this soft assertion in our framework so this is the project guys which we are working on orange hrm project and last time we have created if you talk about the utility classes so we have created this db connection right and later on what we have done we have created this db verification test now let me tell you the scenario what will happen in case like uh, here we have used hard assertion only right so you can see assert class we have used so let's see what happens in, because here we are performing couple of validations like we are validating the first name last name over here first name and middle name in fact and later on we are validating last name over here correct so let me put some comment validation for first and middle name and here validation for last name correct 
so two validations are there so now what we are going to do let's fail this one and we'll see whether it will go for this validation or not so what i'll do i'll deliberately fail this one so let's put test over here between the first name and middle name i just put instead of instead of uh, blank space i just put test over here okay now let me open my test in the .xml and i'll show you the problem with hard assertion not here where uh, src test resources test ng dot xml so let me comment this exclamation mark and two hyphens over here and like this you can comment all other classes so we'll execute this one only so this is how you can uh, comment the other classes so let me run it and our local environment is already up and running guys so i have uh, open the xam control panel and where we have started the mysql and apache we have already covered this in earlier uh, classes right so i just started the services apache and mysql so that we should be able to execute our script on local environment this, this is the local url which we have so what i'll do simply i'll run the script run as test ng suite entering username and password logging into the application and here you can see it is stopped right so you can see one test run one failure so let me check the report so just refresh it and here we'll see the extent report web browser and here you'll see we got only one failure over here you can see validation for the first name and middle name right and it won't go for the last name here you can see and this is the overall result which we got at last so here you can see it will show the the first name and middle name only right so it won't execute the second uh, validation so what we need to do so that's the reason we are going to use soft assertion in our script so that is very simple so let me do that so here what we'll do inside here we'll create the object of soft assertion soft assert right and uh, i'll say soft assert we'll create the object of soft asset class like this and we can use this object now what is the problem with this approach because this is not thread safe guys so every time like uh, we need to create the object whenever we use uh, whenever you when we create the test cases then we have to use this like every time we have to create the object over here so what we'll do we can create the object thread local object of soft assert in our base class and we can utilize that right so let's do that and then we'll run the script as well uh, we'll run our script later so we'll go to the base class and here what we'll do we'll create the thread local object so thread local we have already seen in earlier classes how to create the and we'll create it for soft assert soft assert class so this is how you can do and give some name soft assert and here you know it is simply there is another way we can create in this way and there is another way as well so let me show you that one thread local there is a method called with initial right so what it does uh, it initializes the soft assert object uh, soft assert object only when the when it is accessed for the first time right so we can use this method and later on we can create we can create one uh, getter method to use that object so here what we'll do simply here we need to write like soft we have to create the object soft 
assert this is lambda expression guys here we need to create like this and uh, here we need to use keyword new so this is how we can do and here we have to import the soft assert like this and let's declare this to protected so within the package it should be accessible and what we'll do later on we'll create one method getter method so simply i'll create one getter getter method so we that can be called uh, to access the object outside other uh, you know classes so what we'll do uh, i'll create one so let's say soft get soft assert i'll give proper name get soft assert like this and this will give us the return type of soft assert object and here simply we have to call one method soft assert dot gate like this we can do and here we have to add the return statement like this so this is this is how you can do guys and what we could what we can do we can copy this method correct and we can call inside our db verification test so instead of creating the object over here simply i'll put the method over here and this is how we can do and later on what we'll do we'll call uh, we'll use this object right and put in our so wherever we have like uh, assert hard assertion so simply we'll put soft assert and here also we'll put soft assert and at last what we'll do soft assert dot assert all right this we have to execute so it will collect all the failures okay and then uh, give the reports so we have to call this uh, this is mandatory we have to collect all the information all the failures uh, failures and whatever is succeeds okay so this is how we can do and uh, one more thing we can do guys last time we haven't done that you can see here we have given the system dot out dot println so let's like uh, use the logger as well proper logging mechanism to do this right so if you remember like uh, we have already like defined logger inside base class here you can see where we have that here like this one right so let's put it on top yeah. so this is how we have defined in base class right and uh, later on we have used the same instance of logger class in action driver as well to use logging mechanism in action driver as well like this so simply what we'll do we'll copy this one okay we'll copy this and we'll use inside our test class not test class in db connection class right wherever we have used like system dot on dot print element. so simply i can do like this we can declare this as private that's fine and here what we'll do instead of uh, system dot out dot print ln simply i'll put logger dot info okay so because when we execute the script so it will come in the log files as well in the log folder right it should generate over here as well because if you go give like system dot out dot print ln then it will print on the console itself so we can do like this and copy this and uh, put it for this one as well and here we have exceptions so i'll put like error info so info info error over here similarly we have here as well system dot out dot print ln here and here as well we have to uh, change everywhere and in else part where we get the error or something then we should give like error logger dot error so if you haven't gone through like uh, log 4j related stuff guys then i would recommend you to go to the previous classes previous part which we have covered and this is log dot info logger dot info so i think everything is done over here and here you can see when we have this object of uh, logger this that is coming from the base class right base class dot logger 
so this is done now simply what we'll do uh, this one is also done so let's execute the script again run as test in this suite now this time it will verify the first name and middle name and uh, later on it will validate the last name as well so let's have a look you can see the first name and middle name is you know red color and the last name is in green color so you can just refresh this one and here you can see this one is there is a failure here right and if i open here you can see my name is uh, rounded with uh, surrounded with red color right so here you can see in the message as well test comparison failed hitendra not equals to hitendra test correct and if you see here compare text the second part the last name so test verified successfully verma equals to verma so here if i open you can see this one verma is validated successfully and this is the final final result is failed right and here you can see like this first name and middle name is failed and last name is successfully passed so this was a quick session for today guys and uh, i wanted to cover this soft assertion which is very important and uh, what you can do so here we have already created right in the base class we have already created the object uh, the getter method here we can write like getter method method for soft assert we can give like this so we can utilize this method wherever we want to call we can call it right so this is all for today so let me know if you have any questions or anything and you can put your question in the comment section and if you're new to this channel then please subscribe it and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos so in the next part we'll talk about api test cases so let me show you yeah adding api test cases to the framework so thank you guys for watching have a nice day bye bye one thing i forgot guys the logs so let me show you so if you come to here in the console so you can see here db connection successful right executing query executed query executed successfully so these are all coming from uh, db connection class where we have written the logger right we use the logger object so here you can see db connection successful and here you can see the class name is also showing, showing right so you can see like this uh, yeah starting db connection db connection successful executing query executed uh, query executed successfully and let me open this app.log and here also we'll see all the logs are coming properly starting db connection db connection successful executing query and query executed successfully so this is also done so this is all for today guys next uh, 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 next session we'll talk about api test cases thanks a lot bye bye